All right, what is up, you guys? I'm here with the WrestleMania Complete Anthology box set review. And this one's been requested on my channel for a long time, but I wanted to wait until a few days before WrestleMania. So I have reviewed WrestleMania's um, 3 and then 15 through 33 on my channel. If you want to go check out that playlist. And this is kind of the big finale. Let's get right into this. We have the 20 disc set. Mine does not have 21 or 22 with it. It's just the 1 through 20. But I actually, um, it's a funny story. I bought the anthologies on WWE Shop, but they forgot to send me the box. And they refused to send me the box. Even though they forgot it. They literally refused. So, um, I had to get the box separate on eBay. That's why it says 85 through 2006. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it there. So mine does not include through 2006. It's just 2004. But, yeah, this is a beautiful set. You, know, you can see it's a glossy finish. Very shiny. A little bit of box damaging. But for the most part, I've kept mine in pretty decent shape. And this is a treasure for anyone. Seriously, it is. But let's open her right up. We have kind of your basic setup like the other anthology box sets. You have four volumes. And um, each has five WrestleManias. So I'm just going to take you through each volume here one by one. And these are sold separately. So you can go out and get just one volume if you want. But they all have the same basic packaging. Tells you the complete anthology. Has your classic WrestleMania logo. Your scratch logo. And then it tells you the years. And then what WrestleManias are on this. 1 through 5 here. 85 through 89. Spine, you have the logo. And something really cool. It tells you the runtime. So you can see, you know, the first one's just a little over two hours. And then it really... Um, started getting heftier as the time went on. And you open them up. Each volume has its own artwork from the events that are on the DVDs themselves. Like here you have the ring cart. Very cool moment there. You have Hogan. Bunch of Hogan. Mr. T. Junkyard Dog. Andre. And if you can see here, it has like little faint Roman numerals, which is cool. So you have Mr. Fuji, and what these are, you just have, a lot of these are double-sided discs, you know, the ones that are longer than three hours are double-sided, there's nothing behind them, you know, you just have your double-sided disc, not for WrestleMania 1, but um, for the later volumes they do, and up top here we just have the uh, coinciding WrestleMania logo. So here we have WrestleMania, WrestleMania 2, 3, 4, and 5. And it does also have match listings on the outside flaps here. So you can see that there. And they also do come with inserts, which is nice to have. Gives you a little advertisement. That is just epic. Look at that. Hogan and Andre, man. The inserts have their basic, um, kind of the same format, which you'll see then. And you can see it's just a giant listing of all the segments and the matches. So segments are included here on the insert. Alright, so that's volume one. And you'll see how they kind of um, mirror each other. All right, so, volume two. Same basic format here. You have 90 through 94. WrestleMania is 6 through 10. You have your run time. They kind of got shorter there, too, like in the mid-90s, as you can see there. And then they obviously went back up again. So let's open this one up. 
10 years in the making. You have your Roman numerals again. A little more flashy and colorful for this one. For the late Hulkamania era. And the kind of the intro to the new generation era. So you have Razor Ramon. Yokozuna. One of my favorite um, kind of big men in wrestling history. So open this up. You have your listing again. You have WrestleMania 6, 7, 8, one of my personal favorites for sure. And then you have 9, and then 10. You know, same discs and everything. It, do it also has a year under it. Same advertisement. And then this one you have Warrior and Hogan. Very cool shot there. And then some of these... Uh, di Later inserts, they do include some poster artwork, which is so cool. I love when they include original posters. So you can see all the listing there. The listings got shorter, obviously, as the time went on, so they could include more artwork in the inserts. Because the first volume has just so many chapters to it, it's just impossible to have any artwork around it. All right, so volume three. Which is 95 through 99. And we have your late new generation era to the Attitude Era. You have probably the greatest moment in WrestleMania history. Stone Cold refusing to give up. In my opinion, that's the number one moment in WrestleMania history. So, you have the Iron Man match, you have Taker winning his WWE title. And then you have your listing once again. But we have 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And your insert. I think it's I think it's Sean and Brett if I can remember. Yep. Sean and Brett. Pretty cool stuff. And it also has like a little tagline there. And this is when we have some really cool poster artwork. You have eleven and twelve there. And thirteen, then you just have the fourteen logo. So very cool stuff. And finally, we have volume four. So, same artwork again, 16 through 20. So, 2000 through 2004. And it actually says WrestleMania 16 in Roman numerals there, which is kind of cool. You don't see that very often. And you have the longer WrestleManias here. WrestleMania 20 be in 273 minutes now they're just like seven hours long including the pre-show opening it up you know you have benoit there it's it's cool seeing benoit on dvds it is you know no matter how you feel that's a great moment one of my personal favorites you have wrestlemania 19 you have the tlc and then we have WrestleMania 2000. Of course, they edited the logo. And these do have board logos, so be, f be forewarned. But we have uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then your insert. You have Rock and Austin. Who else would you have, honestly? Come on. Gotta have Rock and Austin on there. And then you just have three of the posters there. So a lot of content, as you can see. I don't even know what the total runtime is of this. I don't think it tells you anywhere. But yeah, that's the WrestleMania anthology. And normally you'd have 21 and 22 chilling up there. Volume 
five as they called it. But yeah, that is the WrestleMania anthology. You know, it's a treasure for everyone. You know, definitely seek this out. You can get it for a decent price. It's not crazy expensive. I've seen the SummerSlam set go for more, personally. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought. This has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.